And the interesting thing is that, you know, he was so excited, he wanted to go and tell everybody, all these people we knew that we thought were seekers. We went round to their houses and said, you know, guess what, this has happened. And they were all kind of, oh yes, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, well, me too, yes, that's happened to me as well. And we were thinking, well, no, it hasn't, because I could see what had happened to John. He was totally transformed. These people weren't totally transformed, but they were saying, oh yes, yes, so that's happened to me as well. And um, so... These people really, I think, thought that John was in his ego, and yeah. um, they didn't take to Sarajevo. They weren't even interested. They weren't, it didn't even come along to a meeting to find out what had happened. And I, I remember John being very, very disappointed, really. I um, fell out with my best man and my best friend, didn't I? Yeah, they were two. Because he was a Christian, you know, and he'd just discovered Christianity, and he used to tell me about Christianity, and I used to think, oh, please, give up. And then when I went to tell him about Christianity, because I wasn't spouting out, I didn't know any anything else other than uh, things that, you know, were in the Bible, because I'm, obviously I'm a Western and brought up on Christianity. And I was telling him what these things meant, and he's going, well, I'm also realised, and I'm thinking, but you know. <laughs> you know, but he thought he was, you know, and he thought he's also had, um, what's the word, you know, when you become overwhelmed? Yeah. Enlightenment, yeah. <clears throat> So he thought also that he was enlightened, mm. you know, and I don't know what he thought of me, but after that I never mm. bothered with him because I, it was just freaking me out, you know. Yeah. yeah. There was an interesting thing is that how Francis um, convinced you to go mm. and see Sri Mataji or to go yeah. to oh, do to the meditation. To meditate, yes, yes. Yeah. So what, what was it, Francis, that kind of... Um, that catalyzed this, yes. or, or what, what kept you going all along and you knew yes. that he had to meditate? Too. I don't know, I think I knew all, I always knew after our first experience with Shri I always knew that there was something very special about her and that if you were going to have a guru, if you are going to follow a spiritual path, she was the one. Yeah. There wasn't anybody else, she was the one and she was the best. Yeah. And um, I think we were going through a bit of a difficult time because John was working very, very hard and we had two... No, I think I was pregnant with Dan, wasn't mm -hmm. I? I was pregnant with my second child. And um, mm -hmm. I was going through a very difficult time because I was having a lot of trouble with the first child because he was quite lively and, and mm -hmm. difficult. And to tell the truth, I was going for the millionaire stuff, wasn't And John, I? John had two jobs. He was working during the day and he was going out at night. So I was looking after a difficult <laughs> child, being pregnant and never seeing my husband. <laughs> and I thought, you know, what can I do? And for some reason, I, I, I kind, of, kind of, I don't know, mother sort of obviously yes. was telling me what to do and and I said to him okay you can carry on with your job in the evening I mean this was just a ploy really because I didn't want him to carry on with it and my aim was to get him to stop doing it mm -hmm. I said yes you're okay you can carry on with it but you've got to promise me that one day a week we'll go to the meditation class so he said oh all right then so, so we, we and I knew I just knew inside that if I could get him to go to the meditation class he'd give up doing all this mad work thing and he did so we went started going to the meditation class in Birmingham and uh, John actually stopped all this working so hard we became hard. poor again didn't we? Oh, we became poor again poor, poor but happy. no we didn't <laughs> and so that's what really what kind of brought us back in at that time you know and I meditated we came along I think solidly for about a year when I was mm. pregnant with Dan mm. and he when he was born he was a very calm and peaceful baby unlike <laughs> mm. So, yes, that was right. to that little story. Um, um, Robert, you knew a lot about 